everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jody, who will share with us what a primary 6 student will be learning for science in January. So Jody, what will they be learning now? Okay, for uh, the month of uh, January, the school will be actually focusing on the topic on energy. So what are some of the key concepts for this topic? Okay, the key concepts are, there are actually three of them to take note of and there are actually six types of different energy, that's the first concept and the six types of energy are electrical, heat, sound, light, potential and kinetic energy and do take note that uh, the syllabus now actually do not require students to actually identify the exact type of potential energy so uh, they could actually just uh, name any form of stored energy, be it gravitational potential or chemical potential energy, you could just say it as potential energy. And secondly, all right, the second main concept is the energy can be converted to other forms. So they cannot be created or destroyed. And lastly, the third concept uh, is to actually correctly identify how one form of energy is being converted to another form of energy. Okay, so can you share with us what are some of the misconceptions? Okay, for misconceptions, right, firstly, students tend to actually mix up energy and forces. So for example, they actually confuse gravitational force as, uh, and gravitational potential energy. So they, to overcome this, they actually have to memorize all the six types of energies and know that there's a difference between energy and forces. And secondly, is that they tend to write their answer that energy is being lost. But they have to remember that the concept that energy can never be destroyed so they can only be converted to other forms. The next uh, misconception is they actually identify the wrong type of energy. So basically they have to be clear about the different scenarios that is associated with different types of energy. All right? For example, uh, object at a certain height or they have any stored energy, they, they usually contain potential energy while moving objects will have kinetic energy. Okay, so can you show us some of the commonly tested questions? Alright, uh, the commonly tested questions will be uh, identifying correct energy convergence which is uh, shown in this example whereby uh, the diagram here, what happens is a student must identify that battery possesses potential energy and it can be converted to electrical energy in the wires and which will lead to heat energy in the water. And another one would be they must know how to explain certain action or situation using energy convergence. So if you look at this example here, all right, for this students must actually apply the correct answering technique, all right, to actually show that there is an increase of one form to, of energy, and during conversion it will lead to an increase of the other form of energy as well. And the next example shown here will be students actually will be required to use energy conversion to explain why either a ball or something came to a stop. So basically they have to explain the kinetic energy has actually been converted to heat and sound energy which this is one of the major concepts that you have to remember. Okay, so I hope that you have a better understanding of the topic energy. If you require more help on this topic, we actually specially prepared a concise and informative cheat sheet on the topic energy for you to download. So click on the link below to get access to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Centre.